Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how you can print part of a web page using JavaScript and a little bit of CSS. So you're probably familiar with the problem, which is sometimes when you try and print a web page, you end up with unwanted parts of the page being printed, such as navigation bar or sidebar. So the technique that I'm going to be showing you here is a way to avoid this by just printing one element and all of its contents. So to begin, what I need to do is add some JavaScript. I want to add an event listener to this button so that when I click it, the printing process starts. So let's add that now. Okay, so over here in my HTML document, I want to add an event listener to this button element with an ID of print. So I'm going to write some JavaScript here just below the closing body tag. So I'm going to use get element by ID to select that element. It has an ID of print. And I'm going to save that element in a variable. And I'm going to call that print btn. Okay, now what I want to do is to add an event listener to this element. So it's print btn and I call the add event listener method on it. I'm listening out for a click. And in the second argument position, I write a function that's going to be executed when the button is clicked. And all I'm going to do in here is call the print method, which is available on the global window object. And because it's available on the global window object, I can actually just omit window altogether and just call print. Okay, so let's head over to the browser now and see the outcome. Okay, so back in the browser, I'm going to click the button now, which is going to fire the function. And this opens a print dialog box. So at the moment, it's trying to print out the entire page because we haven't yet specified that we only want part of the page to be printed. So let's do that next back in index.html. Okay, so back in index.html, we want to specify that we want to print this div with an ID of content and all of its contents. Now we actually can't do that using the print method alone. And the reason is that print doesn't accept any arguments. So we can't place here in parentheses the element we want to print, it's always going to try and print the entire page. So one solution that is sometimes used is to open a new window and append the content in that window and then call print. So this method sometimes works, but you can get caught out if you've got dynamic content on your page because it won't load in time if print is called instantly. And the other reason it's not optimal is because it's inefficient. It involves creating an entirely new page rather than printing the current page. So this is where CSS comes in, because with it, we can specify what we want to appear in the print view. So as you can see, I've already applied a couple of styles. So these are applying to the normal view. But what I want to do is access the print view. And I can do that with a media query. So to access the print view, I say at media, then print. And inside here, is styling that will apply to the print view only. So the first thing I want to do is to remove everything from view in the print view. So the way that I can do that is by selecting body and then use the asterisk wildcard. So that's selecting all elements within the body and I can remove everything from view in the body by setting display to a value of none. So at the moment, nothing is going to appear in the print view. So if I go back to my article, click print, you can see it's an empty page. What I want to do next is to select this div with the ID of content and set its display value to block and also set the display value of all of the content inside it to block as well. So first I select the content div and next I want to select all of its content. So I can do that in the same way that I selected all of the content inside the body using the wildcard operator. And inside, I set the display to block. Okay, so I'll save this now and we'll take a look at that in the browser. Okay, so now when I click on the button, you see that the don't print me text is not appearing above or below the div and the content of the div is being printed in the way it appears on the page. Also, I haven't created a new page here. This is just a different view of the current page so for that reason, there's no waiting time for a new page to load and no associated problems with dynamic content 
being rendered in the print view. So that is it for this video tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.